You know, there's a lot of things you can do to become invisible to the white-tailed deer, but it starts with the vision. Deer see differently than humans. Whitetails are dichromats. They see more in 2D than 3D, and they don't see the same colors that we see. They see more in the blue range, in the green range, in the yellow range than any other color ranges. Does that help me as a hunter? Yes, it does, but deer have a very acute vision of seeing movement and seeing distances. How many times have you been sitting out in a stand and a deer comes out to feed, and all of a sudden that deer stops and picks its head up and starts looking, and it's looking across a 40-acre field? Did it hear something over there? Probably not. It probably saw something. Lo and behold, one 1,000, two 1,000, bam, another deer steps out. How did they do that? Their vision, their vision is what gave them that opportunity to either see danger or see another deer coming. The more you understand about deer vision and how it works, the better you're gonna be when you're out in your tree stand. Okay, now when we understand how a deer's eyes work or kinda how they work, we have to put ourselves in a better position from being seen. There's a lot of things you can do as a hunter to make yourself unseen to a deer. That's brushing in your tree stand, brushing in your ground blinds, making sure that it's gonna break up your outline, especially when you're up in, a, up in a stand. Does camouflage matter? Yes, camouflage matters. But what's more important is how you're tucked into that environment, how you're in that tree stand. It's not gonna matter what color I'm wearing or what pattern I'm wearing. It's about breaking up my human silhouette. They see the human silhouette, they know that's danger, whether you're on the ground or whether you're up in a tree, they know something's not right. So I have to understand how to fool a deer's eyes through natural camouflage, through what I'm wearing, and especially where I have my stand placed or my blind placed. You know, something else a lot of people don't think about is stand placement and the line of sight, where it is in relation to where a deer might be coming. There is no magical number, 20 feet, 22 feet, 25 feet, does not matter. Where is it in relation to the deer's eyesight? Is the deer coming off a ridge and your stand is 20 feet up, but it's almost at eye level with the deer? Big, big difference there, deer's gonna see you. The, the ground blind, is a deer coming down the edge of a field and you're in the corner and the ground blind's sitting right there? Doesn't matter how well I have it brushed in, if I have that window open and I'm moving around, the deer is going to see me. It's about the line of sight and where the deer is coming from and where I'm in relation to that. If you want to take being invisible to the nth degree, take up still hunting. It's a tactic as old as people have been chasing whitetails. Still hunting requires not only stealth, but knowing when you can move and where you can move, how to step, whether you're going to be skylighted, to get close enough to a whitetail that you're going to have an opportunity for success. It's tough, don't get me wrong, and it's challenging, but boy, is it a fun way to hunt. Whitetails live and die by their noses. As a hunter, you can take advantage of this. It starts with a total scent control approach, and it ends with using deer scents to your advantage. Today's Deer Talk product of the day are actually two products, the Hot Scrape Combo and Special Golden Estrus from Wildlife Research Center. A Hot Scrape Combo includes a very convenient Magnum Scrape Dripper and some Hot Scrape Attractant that's going to get bucks not only to start a scrape, but also to continue working an existing scrape. So the nice thing about these scrape drippers is I can get it in here on this licking branch high enough you don't want the deer to be able to reach it. So I'm gonna reach it up in here. I'm gonna turn it over. Nothing's gonna come out quite yet. And I'm gonna get it about six feet high. Deer are not gonna to get to that, but it's gonna to work to get that scent on the ground where I want it to go. What you wanna do is you wanna prime this a little bit and I'm gonna do that. Just get a little bit on the ground, but I like to keep as much scent in there as possible so it's gonna last long. Here's a trick. Get yourself some special golden estrus, and what you're going to be able to do with this is you're going to be able to saturate the ground a little bit more, a lot more efficiently. It's a nice mist bottle on this thing. Rather than squirting that out and get to, you know taking an ounce out of your four ounces, spray it out of here. It's going to go a lot longer. This is the time of year I love the best, the rut. There's nothing like it, especially when you can reel in a buck over a scrape that you doctored yourself. 
check out the hot scrape combo and special golden estrus and get more tips on how to make mock scrapes by visiting wildlife.com.